You wouldn't change a hair of my head. No. A tournament better known as the, the World Cup for juniors. Mike Tomolaris reports. The under-13 squad hail from Sydney Southern Districts Club, arguably the finest junior breeding area in the country. Let's go with speed. Come on, go with speed. Plenty of agility in there. These boys will represent Australia in what will be their first taste of international competition. The boys have got an excellent chance of winning the competition. They've proven themselves throughout the year by you know, very good scoring games, very high scoring games, and the way they've played, the general play has been excellent. And I think that when we go over there, we're going to take the cup. The Walt Disney Tournament has been described as the World Cup for under-13s. 55 countries will take part in the week-long competition to be held in Los Angeles immediately following the World Cup Finals. Thanks, Walt Disney's association is also a first for the World Game. The multi-million dollar amusement company is better known for its theme parks, popular cartoon characters and worldwide marketing. Having soccer isn't, uh, well certainly sport isn't new to Disney. Disney's been involved in a number of sports. In fact, in, in the early 80s it did the, um, a, a whole lot of sport goofy um, associated with tennis. So I think soccer is a worldwide sport. It crosses every cross-section of the community. It's just not a sport um, only for the riches or for the poor. It sort of crosses every avenue. Um, and new soccer is obviously growing, uh, definitely around the world. And it's an international sport. But this squad is far from being a team of Mickey Mouse players. Many of these boys have been earmarked to wear the green and gold of Australia by the turn of the century. By far they're the best that Australia has produced for an under-13s level. Um, they've proven themselves last year with their Grand Slam win, winning all possible tournaments, and they're just really playing well right now. Good luck to the boys. Johnny Warren and uh, Mike, just to wrap up today, uh, what about uh, the news from uh, South Africa? Bacon in, Mr Meldrum. <laughs> <laughs>